Are you exhausted by everyone telling you that cough is useless and you shouldn't do it in game? Well, 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 here is where Zlevi comes, because I'm going to play a full multiplayer campaign with cough only nation. You might call it a meme, but we are going to start in a revamped steps region in our multiplayer mod, where we'll start as small choros, that is one of the two men's, so subjects, of smaller oirat. At the same time, whole region is having multiple new provinces, while China is not having any Ming, it's split between smaller countries, so we're having six Chinese boarding us, as well as Manchu, Korea, and Razoxayana and Moscow in Andras. So this is a very interesting position to start with. Let's get to this. Formation of Yuan is not that easy, we need all of those provinces in Beijing to form Yuan. My allies? Who needs allies? Oh, that's my favorite. My allies, it's me, myself, and you, chat. You are my allies. Time for the rivals. Uh, this is going to be Turgut, Mughalistan, and Uzbek. 655 is very nice. I can increase my stability to 1 right away. And next step here is going to get power points from clergy. Power points uh, from these guys. I can't take power points from tribes up to 1500. So what I'll do, I will uh, just seize land to keep them 15%. And now I'm going to take the cheaper advisor. 20% maximum power, 5k uh, calf, which I'll use. And here I can take the free enterprise. These guys are like Karadel, which I've seen happening in most of the cases actually. But it's fine. I'll be there, start going. Oh. This is the slack. We're on 17th of December. Let's actually do. God! Okay, we're 19th. But, Reconquest Karamai. On 12th of December, I can attack. 11th of December. So, see this way. I'm already going into the province, and he can't run away. And this is going to be a stack wipe. So, I can just wipe them here. So many wars declared just right away in December by the players. There it goes. Sasa, uh, I won't be on time. But I should be on time here. That should be a stack wipe until uh, 5th, 6th April. Oh, come on, zero, yeah. Now what I have to do is just go occupy richly like two provinces and might piece them. Interesting monuments in my area. Did they add the monuments uh, map mode finally? They were supposed to add it, right? Yes, great projects. There's one in Zazoxiana, and two in China, one in Sank. Can I take money from these guys? 24 ducats. Just take it. Go and attack this guy. Oh, yes. When they'll be fighting with the rebels. They should lose with these rebels. Are they losing to those rebels? I think they should lose to those rebels. I don't know why AI just like... On which base they thought that they're going to win with 6,000 rebels. With better general. <laughs> this AI almost got wiped. This is good. This is good, guys. The rebels have 21% of the siege here. So attack for... Uh, for this. And I beat these rebels. I'm going to take over the siege. This is just perfect. Ah! <laughs> the siege is down now. <sighs> ah! Anyway, but there will be not, not many defenders, so if I breach the walls, I'll be able to rush it like within a few days. Okay, here I'm just going to leave zero defenders. I'm going to wipe the army with the rest. Oh yeah, you know, oh, those guys are running away in the north actually. So it's actually fine. Just kill these guys. One, two, three. I'm going to carpet siege these provinces. And start sieging down this. But those guys will start just sieging this, so to piece out Koi separately. Both players are near me. We have uh, Transduxiana, Khorasan, Sirhin, sixth place in China, uh, Korea, and Jiangsu. And here we have Great Horde and uh, Moscow. No, I'm not going to raise the provinces. Why would I? <laughs> I'll be having those provinces later. <laughs> they finished this war before this one, I think. It's like this. How many days is it going? 510 days to take level 1 fort! And we just got 21%! How unlucky you have to be! I don't have 100% here, but I want to have a, a shorter truce. Ah, you know what? I'm going anyway to fully annex all that before war with these guys, so I'll just peace out. First, guy, first these guys. Yes. Then these guys. It was like almost 700 days. So she's down level 1 fort. There it goes. Core everything. Not much to core because those are my cores. And uh, the ruler of uh, Oira just died. What it's causing? All of the right now, all of the uh, two men are disloyal. I'll, I'll kill these guys. All the two men are disloyal, 
which means that uh, they're not going to protect Oyat when I attack Oret. Oret still has 30,000 troops, but I'm also getting 5% uh, discipline to have even more quality to fight them. This, see, national honor is uh, discipline for 5 years. So next 5 years we need to go after Oyat and kill them. Yeah, this guy is just going to Carpets to piece it out. Once I, when I fully annex Oyat, all of those guys will be my vassals. Just need to get to the four, uh, that do not count as a relation slot. And they do give you bonuses uh, similar to ones that you're getting from uh, a march. There is no IE, I mostly took my course at start. Those points is my course plus one province here. And this also won't be much against expansion, that's just 30 fragments expansion for those. I have a new heir. I'm for two. <laughs> Why are you so trash? I need to kill him, but this is just minus 25% prestige in the mod, so it's not hurting us that much. Okay, yeah, Kyrgyz, yes. So the peace deal, this will be important, but I have to concur. So once I deal with Oirat, take over everything. I think I might have to take care of these guys if I want to attack Oirat. Let's go and actually attack them right away. Would I like to? Everyone! Ah, it's fine. But this mission is important, it gives me free stability and minus free war exhaustion. And many claims. And I need this promise for the mission. Let's start going. I'll be there on the 4th. Yeah, now just instantly shoot, theoretically, instantly wipe them. Of course, I can get unlucky and not do this. Okay, Kyrgyz was his land. What? He migrated. He did not have this promise, did he? Two men can migrate. Okay. <laughs> I did not even know that. Peace out, these boys for full. It's 95. Yes, your ideas are very nice. Global manpower 25%, calf combat ability 25%, gov capacity 10%, co-creation 25%, 10% moral of armies, 10% tech cost, 15% shock damage, 1 calf fire, 20% movement speed, 5% uh, army inefficiency, blah blah blah, and trains uh, goods produce 15%. Those are nice ideas, aren't they? Attack minor rocks, of course, <gasps> but it's for 5 days. But we can use it for the initial battle. That's a, just a meme event. But I can use it against Oirat for the start of the battle. I'm going to attack with these guys. And they're on the 6th of September. Let's wait a little bit more. And this is a minus 3 stability that I mentioned in free war exhaustion. Now click this. See now? <laughs> it's just for 5 days. It's just for 5 days, but that's enough to make a stack wave here. Why this guy is coming into me? You're disloyal. Where are you coming? Yeah, there it goes. And I can still go and attack these guys. <gasps> it's not that easy battle here, but we should win here. They reinforce this actually. It's all about rolls. 4 to 9 on shock. 0 to 9! I can still lose it. I can still lose it. 9 1 to 6! What is this? 6 to 5. 5 to 2. I almost lost it! Look on the losses on the troops! Now I'm just going to carpet each everything and rush the fort ASAP. Why are those guys sieging me down? They are disloyal! These guys are disloyal, they're sieging me down! <sighs> and the guys came. Let me stack everything in Kalakurum. If I take this down, before they siege it down, I will be having a 100% war score. And it didn't go down, of course! Ah! I can rush it? I can rush it, yeah, that's true. Let's just rush it. Let's consolidate. Do this, we can rush, this is just 500 defenders, you're absolutely right. This will be a 100% war score. Come on, come on, come on! Just go down already! Before this siege that does, this promise down. Yeah, now I have 100% war score as promised. Peace out. You are talking something about the war score? <laughs> and I got this right away. So now I'm Jungar. What's changed now? I got uh, perma claims over here. I got free stability, I was one on minus two, and I got minus three war exhaustion. Plus, I think I got some power points. And yeah, I also took over all of the two mans from my rat. So those are my subjects right now. And we are going after Mongolia. We care war for Orkhon. Let's go. And this is a desert province. So I'm going to attack them. Oh, hopefully those guys want to reinforce. 17th August, 31st July, that should be fine. Oh, I've rolled two nines in a row. I might win before they rain for 17th. Oh, I have so good trolls, 17th. Win before the 17th, please. Please. No, I will not win before the 17th. 15th. 16th! <laughs> Finally some luck. 
in this campaign. Those guys are reinforced one day too late. Yeah, now I have 90 amperes on war score. Okay, let's peace out. Take this. Now I'm going to feed uh, Tuva with some provinces. So I can't expand that much and core everything. And then anyway, this Vassal does not count into the relations limit. So now coring all of those, it's not costing me that much. So now I can uh, send a gift to these guys. 25 ducats. In two months I can uh, start annexing them. By the way, you should... Yeah, we just one one death uh, from being a grid power. Next step is the Mogulistan for the gold mine. First I need to take care of these rebels and then we go after Mogulistan. So I want, also want to get uh, as cheap as possible to this gold mine. Also about the gold mines, I'm going to start annexing these guys. It's going to take just two years. It's another gold mine. And these guys I want... Uh, Hami? Noga will be actually helping. It's unfortunate. But it's fine. I have vassals. It will be setting that down for me. My vassal is attacking there, I don't know why. They have low morale, so I should be able to reinforce them on time. My vassal is winning against 9000 of these guys. What's these stats? 3. Point... Oh, actually, 4! Well, I have 3.5, that's wipe. So, what we want to take is this perma claims for us, plus the gold mine, and as much as possible on the left. It's actually it's not that much. So, maybe let's limit ourselves here just to get the gold mine. And focus on this province as this uh, fort, which I will, I will release a vassal here. That should be fine. They have a free free leader. I'm going with free two. Okay, so China boys. Yes, it's China. It's expanding very slowly there. The guy already took Beijing. She already took Beijing. It should be an easy win. What oh, these guys came out of nowhere? They also start reoccupying. I mean, there's just this uh, pure pain fighting in this region. This guy gives power. Eh, upgrade great power. Find all of those will be a hundred percent war score. Come on, those three points is just four. <gasps> I do like to troll as well, attacking eight thousand rebels with three thousand troops by an accident. <sighs> Come on, no! I trolled myself here. No! <laughs> I am out of this war. Ah, pain. Four thousand. Troops died. Now, what I wanted to do is to release a vassal, Yarkand. So same as those rebels. So they, they might free uh, some provinces to Yarkand. So now, let's feed Yarkand a little bit. Yarkand still has plenty, of course. <laughs> let's see. Especially on the Mughalistan. For the next war, it's like just perfect. Now I can unlock ideas. Guys, look, Horde Ideas is a pure troll. Fine, it's Kafkos. This is like all very good. A gas expansion is of no need. Religious unity might be a little bit useful. Land addition is fine. Unrest, Kafra Vampower, Horde Cultures, and Kaf Combatability. It's just, they're literally taking these ideas for the Kaf Combatability and the Kaf Cost. And now compare it to quantity 50% manpower, 20% manpower recovery, regiment's cost, which is in fact also the calf regiment cost, and then the same attrition bonus, and 50% like 50% uh, for some. Yeah, no, no, Kuka. I did not know that it's a core of Yarkant when I was re releasing them. This is from them. I can't seize it. Uh, it's Yarkant. Can I? I can actually. Just seize it. <laughs> I'm stupid. And uh, I'll be able to core it next month. No, I'm going after. Uh, I'm going quantity, guys, or either quantity or quality. So, I mean, we'll be having tons of force limit and manpower anyway. But we, because we are hordes, but at start we might be lacking, uh, the, and more quality might be more useful. I'll go. Let's let's not do meta slave, guys. I'm going. I'm with. I'm starting with quality ideas. No, <laughs> only for you guys. Quality ideas opener. Oh, there's a hundred percent war score. Out. Okay, uh, let's go and check the uh, scanner back. Total development. So we're not even close. We're like 11th. Total mana generated. A little bit higher. 9th. Quarter score. Yeah, we're number 6. That's actually nice. Ottomans, Austria, Manchu, France. Manchu is third. That's surprisingly nice. Alright, guys, thanks for coming for today's stream. If you enjoyed the calf mean so far, remember to leave a like and comment this video. And if you'd like to see more of such content live, remember that we have a Twitch channel, Slavic TV. We are streaming multiplayer games on every Thursday.